However, now things are beginning to... Like, I can see that the infection rate is picking up even more. Oh, boy, is it. It's accelerating now. I'll take it, though. Let's see now. So, up here, that means it's getting to that point now where... It's getting to that point now where I think... the route to um yeah the, the route to Greenland should have been infection rate at some point which would be nice because as I said Greenland is the hardest country to infect in this game so uh, Norway just got infected too <laughs> See though. Hmm. Keeping my eyes peeled. All these red boats. Sheesh. Whoop. I saw the Caribbean get infected just now. So there was the Caribbean. That's another island down. And I think. Yep, Greenland is the only island left, of course. How well is Iceland doing? Nice. Good. The cold resistance. Uh, evolutions are working. Excuse me. Hiccup. So those are working now. The thing is, though, is that Greenland still isn't that infected yet. At all. But the good news is that the infection, the amount of people infected right now is insane. I'm really amazed at how well this is going. The Necrovirus definitely seems, my, seems to be my ticket to uh, winning this on normal. Even though ZCOM kicked my ass last time. It was partly because the one country that wasn't really that infected um, just took off. And that was the Baltic States. Like If, if it was more infected, uh, no doubt about it, they would have had a diff more difficult time uh, taking over that country or any other country really. My hope is that the more people that get infected, the better. So Greenland, Poland, and Sweden are left, so... Sweden, Poland, Greenland... There, I just went Greenland, as a matter of fact. So now, it is just Sw Poland... Nope, now it's just Sweden. Jeez, game, you're not letting me finish my sentences! <laughs> I see how this is. Donnie's talking too much. Shut him up. Even the game wants me to shut up. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Anyway, uh, Sweden. Sweden's the last country left. Let's see here. Okay. Not sure why it hasn't been infected yet. As a matter of fact, I actually don't know why. Why hasn't it... Why hasn't it been infected yet? Like, I've been... Like, it's surrounded by inf infected now. Wow. That's from disease. That doesn't really matter now. Isn't here... Did they make the color of the... The crow virus darker red now? Holy crap. This isn't something I haven't seen before. Look how dark that is! That was... It was not this dark of a red color before. I know it wasn't. Wow, that's a dark... That's... That's kind of... Very... Scary looking color there. Knowing what this game is, so... Wow. The best thing is because... Like, because everyone is getting infected in South America compared to before, that's another thing that uh, this area has compared to the others. Like, South America was really not getting infected all that much. Um, 
Now it seems like it's having a bit of an easier time. I don't know what it is about Peru, though. But there's always something... There's always something about Peru that never ceases to baffle me. And that's why it's so... immune, so to speak. Like, I, I've never really seen... It's always, like... It's either... Oh. The other countries are fine. In that, in that continent. But it's always Peru. I don't get it. This is about Peru that's different from the others. Doesn't really seem like. But either way, that's the last country right there. So now all the countries are infected. So that means the game will be able to move this phase two soon. Um, oh wow. Six billion. And nearly 100... Uh, really? You bring that up now. Uh, just one time. And then I'll let it mutate on its own next time. This time I'm not going to start from the beginning and waste DNA points. I'm just going to wait until it mutates a second time and then progress. Which I'm hoping it's not immediate because yeah. But seeing here seeing here it does seem to me that we should be good to go. If all goes well here. Um, but then again, look at what happened last time. There's no guarantee. There's no guarantee at all. So it's best to just hold off. And even, even if I do get another mutation, I'm sure there will still be people out on the uh, planet that's still healthy in this game. But this run is not going to end until Zcom is defeated, and then even once Zcom is defeated, I have to migrate all the zombies over to uh, countries that are still blue, you know? But I don't expect it to be that high. That's a thing. So, yeah. I'm not getting any more DNA points either, which isn't good. But it's fine, though. It's fine because the amount of healthy people are going down significantly. Although I can see that it's really... Like, what is going on with Canada? Like, Canada hasn't really been taking off all that much. Like, what is going on? Why are these countries not getting infected all that much? Was that the whole rich... Rich, uh, new health guidelines for rich countries. Or would all these countries be considered rich? Like, would they? I don't know if they would be considered rich though, because the the thing is though is that some of these I I don't get it. There's really no particular reason for a lot of these countries to be still okay. That, no wonder why it hasn't been. And look at the U.S., it's barely going up. Like, that shouldn't be happening. What are they doing... What are they doing differently? But, uh, I don't know. Like... Well, let's see what's going on here. Let me see. Um, transmissions... Don't really. Water one wouldn't really be helpful. No, Zoonotic shift wouldn't really be helpful. Segmented genome, I don't really know. Viable mutation during transmission. I wouldn't want to do that though. 